You are working in the office, completing the work that is pending for the last week, and suddenly, boom, headache sets in. At this point, it's just like a normal headache, but few minutes, and it reaches its peak, even the slightest of light or whispering sounds of your colleague in an extremely silent environment, now, trouble reach to your gut and you instantly feel to throw out. Well, certainly, you are under attack, this time it's migraine. The battle gets going, sometimes for hours, or even for days. But now, it has become well, a fucking war. Between you, and the migraine. So, what exactly happens in our brain when we are under attack, and what triggers migraine in the first place? Let's get started. For this video, let's assume migraines have different forces to trigger headache. There are, seven different mechanisms, involving 12 parts, affecting millions of neurons in brain. To know it, conducted hundreds of research, for decades, involving thousands of events, like this. But, this complexity to study migraine is yet to be fully understood. While the exact mechanism is not known, it is thought that migraine is caused by a genetic abnormality that makes the normal vascular system hyperexcitable. It may include cortical spreading depression, an electrical phenomenon that may start in the occipital lobe and move forward. Once antidromic activation occurs, the distal trigeminal nerve terminals initiate a cascade of events by releasing the neurotransmitter substance P and KACGRP and others, which bind to the receptors on intracranial blood vessels, causing vasodilation, plasma protein extravasation, and ultimately sterile inflammation. This results in reactivation of the trigeminal nerve. This time in an orthodramatic fashion, the signal is relayed to the trigeminal nucleus fidelis, a central structure in the brain stem that forwards pain and pulses to the thalamus and ultimately to the sensory cortex. Once the first order trigeminal neurons become sensitized, normally innocuous intracranial stimuli, such as a pulsating artery become painful, resulting in a throbbing pain, made worse with activity. This type of pain is symptomatic of peripheral sensitization. If pain due to peripheral sensitization is unsuccessfully treated, second and third odor neurons extending through the midbrain to the thalamus and cortex are continuously activated. This may lead to central sensitization causing pain from cutaneous stimuli that are normally not painful. When central sensitization occurs, medications that act merely in the periphery often may not be effective, 